What's up everybody, Ryan here. Got a uh, single unit PM today. I get in the store, notice it's cold, find a breaker's trip. So let's go find out what's going on with this unit. Got quite a bit of snow up here. I gotta walk all the way across this roof and get to the unit way over there. So let me grab my stuff here, make my way over. And we'll get set up at the unit and see what we've got going on. I'm putting my money on a rub out of some kind. Oh man, I'm getting too old for this. Anyway, get this freaking 300 pound freaking backpack on my back. Anyway, we're almost there. How in the hell? Oh, here we go. The snow is getting deeper over here. Must have all fallen right into this pit and had nowhere to go. Ay, ay, ay. Something's going on with this unit. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna put my money on some kind of rub out. Good Lord. All right, here we are. Get some panels off and see what we got going on. About an hour later, I got the freaking panel off because all the ice. Tell you what, I like this Vito Pro Pack. Comes with this little magnet in here. It makes it nice when you get all this freaking snow. Put your uh, screws right there. But I also have uh, this baby. I don't want to lose all my screws. I could put new ones in, but then you got screws all over the freaking roof. Come springtime. Anyway, enough about that. I got the disconnect off. I finally got the panel off. Right off the bat, I mean, the wiring looks kind of wonky with it all taped together. It's old, it's not really very neat. And it is what it is, I suppose. But uh, we'll get to the bottom of it. What could it be? Blower motor, electric strip heaters. I'm betting that. I didn't realize it was a uh, all electric unit until I got up to it. They got gas right there. I wonder why they went electric anyway. What's the age on this sucker? It's a 99, baby. Oh, what a year it was. I'm just bringing you along step by step as I take panels off. That way we can uh, discover this problem together. But here, I mean, I got a contactor. It looks a little like it's got some burn marks on it, but I don't see anything that would have made the uh, three-pole breaker go boom. Let's take a look in here. I got fuses, we'll test those here in a bit. Get this ice off of here. I've got the uh, blower opened up. Power's off, obviously, because it's still off at the breaker. I don't have any rub out there. I thought maybe we had a little rub out action, which are notorious on these, the blower spins freely i do not have that distinct smell of burnt winding so let's open up the uh, electric strip heaters let's see if we've got anything fun in there all right i got my strip heater section opened and uh again nothing is obvious i don't see any obvious signs of uh wires shorted out or grounded burnt yeah, everything's got a, a grommet that I can see. Get the old meter out and see what we've got going on here. We have continuity on all three fuses. So it didn't blow any fuses, but it did trip a breaker. And the breaker wasn't off. It was definitely tripped. There's good. Good. And good. So we're good. That's good, All right? Say good one more time. Say good again! Good. <laughs> anyway, let me uh, work my way in. I'll test everything, see if we've got windings uh, grounded or something like that. None of the wires feeding the blower are uh, shorted to ground. I've got continuity between them. Of course, they're all landed on the contactors, so uh, if I don't find some other issue, I'm gonna pull those wires and double check, but right off the bat, no major issue there. Let's test our uh, strip heaters here. Oop. 
Boy, I hate to uh, not find an issue and try to put that breaker back on. Guess we can always check the uh, wires feeding the disconnect. Could have an issue on the uh, power supply side. I'm gonna pull this open and take a look at those strips and see if I can see anything goofy going on from the inside. That's what we're uh, working with here. And I don't see anything broken or dangling. So it's these two, these two, and these two. I've pulled all my wires off the contactor for the blower. I've got continuity between all three legs, nothing short of the ground. We're gonna check these compressors, uh, but I doubt that's the issue. But you never know, you never know. All right, both compressors test good electrically. Nothing short of the ground. I have continuity between all three legs. Uh, nothing on the blower. Uh, I tested my wires coming in. Uh, nothing is short of the ground there. I don't have continuity. The breaker is off, so maybe I've got a, a burn up breaker down in the panel. I'm gonna give this thing one more good look over before I uh, walk down to the store see if i can take that uh panel apart at least i'm not working on that unit scratching my head here but it's okay we'll get to the bottom of it if worse comes to worse and everything's good we'll just kick the power on and see what goes boom uh but i can't find anything here right off the bat motor's good the strips are good the contactors are good nothing short of the ground compressors are good all the wiring looks you know, decent, everything's got a grommet. I don't see any smoked, burnt spots that would uh, indicate that something went ca catastrophically wrong. I think I found the problem. Tested my transformer. I've got no continuity on my power in. So I've got my one lead, that's common. And then uh, red is 208 and I've got nothing. See, transformer died, but it doesn't smell, and I don't see any burn marks, anything like that, but it's definitely no good. Let me go see if I have another transformer, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, kick the power on down in the store, make sure I've got the proper voltage up here, make sure we've got no issues with that breaker, and um, see if I can get an increase on this, and uh, we'll go from there. Two hours later... I'm back. I'm out of breath. Breaker is on. I had no issues with that. Kicked the power on and it did not trip the breaker. So that should be good. Oop, yep, set it to voltage run. All right, there we go. That says 213, if you can read it. 210, 211. All right, we've got power. I've still got this disconnected. My power is off. I've got a uh, universal circuit breaker transformer, 75 VA. It's almost the exact same one, uh, except there's no circuit breaker on this one. It should mount right in the same spot. That's a beautiful thing. Okay, I've got 26 ohms. All right, so we've got continuity now. So hopefully once we wire this up, that's the only issue. Let me go ahead and uh, get some screws out, get some wire nuts, get this replaced, and then we'll kick it on. And hopefully that's that. Hopefully it kicks on and runs and doesn't go boom. It's a 208 unit. So I'd rather have 208 go boom than a 460. But anyway, let me go ahead and get this replaced. I've got it ripped apart here. It's smoked. Now that I got right up on here, I gave it the sniff test and you can see some of the uh, the darkness there. That coil looks a little burnt, so. Transformer, huh? Maybe since COVID, I just have lost a real good sense of smell. I used to have a real great sense of smell and then I had COVID twice and no, I don't smell so good.
I can smell it though when I get right up on it so I'm hopefully that's the only issue uh, so I haven't gotten any further than that I got it pulled out I still gotta get that new one in and get it wired up let's do it all right guys I got it in place I got my power supply I just landed it right where they were wired got my low volt tied in and zip tied back there this is about as neat as I can make it I might throw another zip tie on there just to pull that back I got a couple extra zip ties on this this is uh not the best electrical panel in, in my opinion but you got to work with what you got so we're wired up I keep my fingers crossed I'm going to go ahead and clean up all this mess get this panel put back in place I'm going to give the unit one more double check just to make sure I didn't miss anything I've got those filters to put in then we're going to kick the power on and see will the smoke come out or will it run I bet you it'll run, but I don't want to jinx myself, so I just hope there was no other reason for that to go. Uh, but we'll find out. We certainly will. And I got a lake forming over here. That's what I like about this Vito. It's got this hard, hard bottom on it. Plastic, molded plastic. So you could sit in some water up to three inches. So it's been a pretty good bag. Anyway, enough about Vito Pro Pack. Although they do make the best bags in the business. You hear that, Vito? Best bags in the business. That sure sounds like a slogan to me. I mean, you can use it. I just take a royalty or a little bit of money or a free bag. Uh, one bag per year would work for me. But anyway, I think we're good, guys. Like I said, filters are going in. Quick cleanup, get set, and then we'll throw that switch. As you can see, I've got a waterfall here now, which is presenting me a small problem because... When I kick this unit on, i got to leave this blower door open so I can check the amp draw. Well, I guess I could check it from here, uh, but I like to check them individually. So I'm going to try to clear some of this water off. That way I'm not sucking water all into the blower and all over the electric strips. Which is one of these. Give it. Give it one of these. One of that. Looks like water's been sitting on this unit since 1999. Because uh, it's about to rust through. I don't want to... I don't want to scrape too hard. Filters are in. I've pulled up more water here. I bet you, if I loosen these screws, I could probably prop that blower door right on top. That'll hold it in place. I can still check my amp drop. There we go. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Oh, too much. My finger control in reverse is not as good as it is in drive. Look at that. A little extra screw. That should suck right in there and be good to go. Shouldn't pull too much water in if that thing's out. So here's the moment of truth, guys. The time is now. We're all cleaned up. Transformer's in. My blower door's hanging on by a screw or two. Well, let's see. It's just funny that it didn't pop a fuse, it just tripped the breaker. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna stand back. Well, nothing went boom. <laughs> uh oh. What is going on? Let me put the camera down. Okay, so we didn't trip a breaker, we still have 200. 13 volts, but we've got a we've got it's tripping my circuit breaker now. So we've got an issue with a low voltage short somewhere. Hmm. So we start all over again with another problem. Let's see if I can find our issue. I mean I can kick it back on again, but it's just gonna trip that again let me pull down my uh, little contraption here and we'll dig in again all right guys I'm looking in all the usual spots for low voltage shorts a lot of times they happen here or here or over there so I'm gonna give these a real good look uh, so far I don't see anything other than they need resecured zip ties are broke but let me give it another look here Guys, I got it up, I moved all the wires around, I kicked it back on, and it's not tripping on a low voltage short, so I'm sure somewhere in that bundle of wires, 
I've got a rub out somewhere that was touching and now that I've disrupted it, it's not. I'll show you again. I didn't do anything other than, I didn't do anything other than just move the wires around. So before I bombard them with 20 degree air, somewhere in this mess is a rub out. I can guarantee it. I can guarantee it. I found a couple of little spots that were questionable and I'm trying now to uh, tape these up and move them to the outer side of this uh, housing where the metal is more rounded. I have to do something with this to keep it off of this uh, sharp edge. Our blower is shaking like crazy. And uh, if you can see here, you see that bearing? It's just dancing around. It's dancing around in a bracket back and forth. So that's causing the shaking, which is then causing the wires to rub and is more than likely causing our short, which ultimately probably killed our transformer because it didn't have a resettable uh, a fuse on it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get all these wires pinned up. We're gonna write up a, a bearing replacement. So basically a blower rebuild. And at that time, we're going to uh, look all these wires over uh, again, see if we can uh, locate the short. But even if it is stripped a little bit, the tape and uh, resecuring it should keep it good until we get back because I'm just about out of money on this one and I still have somewhere else to go. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm doing. But this should be a lot better being that it's on the outside. It's not laying over this sharp edge uh, or on top here so hopefully we're not tripping <laughs> we're not tripping at three amp fuse but it, even if we are we're still gonna have to write it up for the blower rebuild and to come back to find the short but i think this is gonna take care of it because i've kicked it on twice now after i moved the wires and now it's not tripping the uh the three amp fuse so let me carry on i got our high voltage secured with tape zip tie uh, i got a one hole here on the screw i've got everything zip tied up nice so we should be good till we get back but yeah that blower it's just jumping around and uh, it's causing a rub out somewhere so yeah it just seems odd that it's not tripping the three amp fuse now that i've moved the wire so somewhere is a rub out it's probably tiny um i'll come back we'll go through every wire i looked i saw some questionable ones I wrapped them up real good, so we should be good. Let me button this up. I'll show you that blower jumping around, but you can see that bearing. It's in and out, so the bearing is moved. It's not pushed in all the way to the bracket, so either it came loose or the bearing's worn. It's just, it's moving oblong, not a perfect circle, which is throwing the whole blower off. Anyway, I've had enough with this one. Round three coming up. Yeah, you see that blower? It's bouncing, it's just bearing. So let me kick the heat on here, check my amp draw, and then we'll be in good shape. Just shut the power off while I jump it that way. If it blows something, uh, I'm prepared. All right, we are pulling in the strip heat now. I like it. It's definitely the issue. That blower's just bouncing around. Rubbed out the wires. Burn up the transformer. Somewhere in that bundle is a rub out. But now it's not touching metal. And hopefully with the tape I put on and securing it the way I did, it won't pop that breaker till we get back and we can uh, find it permanently and get it taken care of but as you can see all my wires are secure now these carriers are notorious for rub outs 
just the way they were out their wires you know they're right up against metal or the zip, zip ties that were holding them back in uh 1999 broke the wires fell and then you had a you had a bad bearing and a bouncing blower to the mix and next thing you know you've got other issues but what a hunk of crap yeah buddy and i'm bleeding so anybody that comes after me will know i was here by uh the blood trail oh yeah she's a bouncing baby <laughs> she's a bouncing look at that yep she's a bouncer certainly is see that see that guys yeah, this is the perfect opportunity to pick up my zip tie pile. Uh, yeah, I just want to sit here and watch it for a minute. You know, heat, run, make sure it's not going to be tripping that 3 amp fuse. Uh, but I'm going to write it up as a uh, blower rebuild and a uh, low voltage short uh, scavenger hunt. Find it get it repaired permanently I just I don't have enough time or money on this to continue on but at least now we've got more of an idea of what we got going on when we come back had I not replaced the transformer I probably would have never known that the blower bearing was riding weird in that bracket and then um probably would have never found the rub out so uh, I'm glad that we went this route and at least found out you know what caused that it's it was the blower caused everything the blower caused the short the short killed the transformer so this was an interesting one and it's cold out here but what a beautiful damn day look at it look at it out here i'm happy with that i think we've uh gotten to the bottom of this one we're at 72 degrees and climbing with the toaster heater i get those filters i've got everything all buttoned up on this pile of garbage right here. At least I'm not working on that one. Did I say that already? Anyway. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this one. I appreciate you watching. If you liked the video, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. That'll notify you anytime I got a new video coming out. Leave me a comment, hit like. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next one.